Can a music synthesizer be created using an ESP32 and a dozen lines of code? First, you need to download the AMI library from Shorepine's GitHub repository. I think it may actually be available through Arduino's library manager as well now. AMI was fairly new when I first found out about it, and the developers are very active, constantly improving it. Anyway, let's take a look at the code. First, as always, we need to load the library. Next, we create an instance of the structure that Amy uses, setting all default values. This line isn't really necessary, it just tells Amy to beep when it boots up. It's just there so you can tell it actually worked. These lines will probably need to be changed. They are used by Amy to specify the signal pins for the I2S DAC. This is required for sound output. There are plenty of low cost options available. Now, we just need to tell Amy to load the configuration and initialize itself. And finally, we tell Amy to start processing messages. Amy uses an internal message queue for all of its operations. The startup beep option in line four basically queues a message to make a beep sound. When the processing starts, the beep will sound. Check out the documentation in the GitHub repository to learn more of what Amy can do. These examples are only there to get you started on the journey. Amy is a very complex system, so the best thing you can do is read the documentation and experiment. Now, let's just make sure that it actually does work by making it play a tune. How about tubular bells? This is basically the same code as before, but with several additions. Firstly, there is a table of 30 MIDI note values that represent the notes in the most iconic part of the tune. Next, it sends the message R0,1,2K160Z to Amy, telling it to load patch 160 into voices 0, 1 and 2. Patch 160 is one of the DX7 piano patches. Next, it loops indefinitely through all 30 of the notes, sending messages to play each note. Note the variable V, which represents the voice being played. This variable is looped from 0 through to 2 as each message is sent. The purpose of this is to cycle each note being played between three voices to allow enough time for the note to play through before a voice is reused. Reusing a voice before the note has finished playing will clip it. It also creates a richer sound because each note is still decaying when the next note starts playing. Did I mention that Amy is polyphonic? So our synthesizer in 12 lines has ballooned to 29 lines, but we did add a polyphonic sequencer and hard-coded a tune. It is also worth noting that Amy does have the capability to handle polyphonic play internally without having to use a voice variable, but this feature is new and I have not experimented with it yet. It's also worth noting that since Amy uses a task queue, it effectively has a sequencer built in as well. For simplicity, I chose not to use this feature in the demonstration. But how does it sound? So, can a music synthesizer be created using an ESP32 and a dozen lines of code? Pass.